Good evening, hello and welcome you all with the news today. This is your primetime destination news. Newsmakers talking points. The big talking point is the BJP now off out to finish off the AAP. Should Arvind Kejriwal be quitting the chief ministership on moral grounds after the Delhi High Court verdict? Among others, Delhi Minister Saurabh Bhardwaj will be my special guest. Also, Supreme Court holds up Patanjali and Baba Ramdev. What lies ahead? For the yoga guru, we'll talk about that too. But first, as always, it's time for the nine headlines. Prime Minister Modi on battleground Tamil Nadu invokes India Today's interview, slams Dayanidhi Maran's joker barb against Anna Malai that he made in an interview to News Today. Anna Malai hits out, says Maran is nothing without his surname. Kachatibu Island showdown continues. Prime Minister taunts the Congress. Digvijay Singh defends the move, says no one lives on the island anywhere. Delhi Minister Rajkumar Anand quits, says Ahmadmi Party embroiled in corruption. Aap Netas claim Rajkumar will now join the BJP. The Enforcement Directorate had knocked on his door a few months ago. Double setback for the Bengal government. Calcutta High Court directs a probe into the NIA attack in Bengal. Also orders a court monitor CBI probe into the Sandesh Kali case. Supreme Court holds up yoga guru Ramdev's Patanjali rejects its apology for misleading advertisements. Supreme Court bench also rebukes Uttarakhand government, says they worked hand in glove with Ramdev to mislead the public. Suspense grows over Congress's Uttar Pradesh fight. Sources say Rahul Gandhi likely to fight from Amethi against Priti Irani. Official declaration to be made only after the Vayanad polls are over on 26th April. Kerala Church remains divided after Siro Malabar Church screens the contentious Kerala story film. Another church body counters the move with screening of a film on the Manipur violence. Tesla CEO Elon Musk to meet. Prime Minister Modi in India this month must likely to announce a $3 billion project in India. Apple doubles production in India. iPhone output hits $14 billion in 2024. About one in seven of Apple's marquee devices are now assembled in India. The big story that's breaking at this moment, Delhi Minister Rajkumar Anand has quit. The first Delhi minister who's quit the Ahmadmi party after Arvind Kejriwal has been sent to judicial custody. The Delhi minister has questioned the Ahmadmi party on the issue of graft. Anand claimed that the AAP is embroiled in corruption and says he can't stay in the party anymore. AAP has claimed that Anand, who was being investigated by the Enforcement Directorate a few months ago, will now join the BJP. So clearly, you've got one minister, the first minister, who stepped down from AAP after the Kejriwal judicial custody. Listen in to what he had to say. Rajkumar Ji, first of all, why did you give me your attention? I told you about your attention, I told you about it. कि किस तरह से मैं अपने आप को भारू महसूस कर रहा था जैसे अभी एक पत्रकार महोदय ने पूछा कि अभी मई मीटिंग हुई थी आम आदमी पार्टी की एक बड़ी मीटिंग हुई थी उसमें क्या हुआ आप गए या नहीं गए नहीं गए तो इस तरह से बहुत सारी बजाएं जिसकी वजह से छोड़ के राजकुमार जी आपने मंत्री पद से इस्तीफा दिया है और क्या आप कोई पार्टी ज्वाइन करना चाह रहे हैं नहीं 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 मैं कोई पार्टी नहीं ज्वाइन करना चाहता मैं डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब अम्बेडकर के पे बैक टू सोसाइटी वाले रीजन की वजह से राजनीति में आया था मेरा ना कोई पैसा कमाना यहाँ कोई रीजन है ना नाम कमाना रीजन है पे बैक टू सोसाइटी हम लोग छोटे लेवल पे बड़े लेवल पे करते रहते हैं आप सबको भी करनी चाहिए अपनी अपनी सोसाइटी में तो राजकुमार जी एक बात ये बताइए एक बात ये बताइए कि अभी भी क्या स्थिति है जो अभी जिस तरह से जेल से सरकार चलने की बात कह रही है क्या आप इस वजह से व्यथित हैं पीड़ित हैं वजह क्या है आप नहीं ये कुछ नहीं ऐसा कुछ नहीं कौन सी पार्टी आप ज्वाइन करने जा रहे हैं कोई पार्टी ज्वाइन नहीं करने जा रहे हैं फिलहाल तो मैं अपने आपको हल्का महसूस कर रहा हूँ और नहीं नहीं मिला मुझे कहीं से कोई ऑफर कोई ऑफर मुझे क्यों देगा so, suspense over whether the minister will join the BJP, but it raises questions over where the Ahmadmi party is headed. 
Arvind Kejriwal, the Delhi Chief Minister who's in judicial custody, knocked on the Supreme Court door today, a day after being denied relief by the Delhi High Court, which ruled that his arrest was legal. Kejriwal has denied, uh, was, also de was also denied additional meetings with his legal team. While the Supreme Court is yet to list Kejriwal's plea, a Delhi minister, as I said, quit the party citing corruption. The heat, therefore, is clearly mounting on Arvind Kejriwal. Can he run a government from behind bars? Is that politically or administratively feasible? What lies ahead for the Ahmadmi party? Take a look. No relief for jailed Delhi CM Arvind Kejriwal in the Delhi liquor policy case. A day after the Delhi High Court rejected Kejriwal's plea to quash his arrest by the ED, he moved an application in the Supreme Court on Wednesday challenging the High Court order. The top court is yet to post the plea for hearing. The Delhi High Court order was a big blow to Kejriwal, especially as the judge made many stinging observations in the ruling. The court said Kejriwal conspired with other suspects and was involved in taking kickbacks. The order says that the CM also concealed the proceeds of the crime. The court added that he was involved in personal capacity and as Ahmadmi party convener. The court also pointed out the delay in joining the probe. In another setback on Wednesday, a Delhi court dismissed an application filed by Kejriwal seeking additional time to meet his lawyers. लीगल मुलाकात होती है तो आप जान के हैरान हो जाएंगे आठ दस पुलिस वाले उस लीगल मुलाकात में उनको घेरे खड़े रहते हैं बताइए दुनिया के किस नियम में लिखा हुआ है तो आप करना क्या चाह रहे हैं क्या दिल्ली की तिहाड़ जेल को आप हिटलर के गैस चैंबर में तब्दील करना चाहते हैं Meanwhile, Kejriwal's wife Sunita met him in jail. Ahmadmi Party leaders also held a meeting at Kejriwal's residence to strategize for Lok Sabha polls. The party will mark April 14th as Samvidhan Bachao Tana Shahi Hatao Divas. The BJP held protest outside Ahmadmi Party headquarters in Delhi, demanding Arvind Kejriwal's resignation. Aam Aadmi Party has maintained there is no question of Kejriwal resigning. आपके इस घोटाले में भूमिका है, चोरी की गई है, कमिशन खाई गई है, गोवा में पैसा दिया गया है। उसके बावजूद ये निलज मुख्यमंत्री, ये निलज आम आदमी पार्टी अभी तक कुर्सी पे बैठे हैं, इनको शर्म आनी चाहिए, इनको तुरंत इस्तीफा देना चाहिए। आज केजरीवाल इस्तीफा दे देंगे, आम आदमी पार्टी को खत्म कर दिया जाएगा, खत्म। सारे विधायकों को तोड़ा जाएगा, जेल में डाला जाएगा, हमारे मंत्रियों को जेल में डाला जाएगा, पंजाब के मंत्रियों को विधायकों को जेल में डाला जाएगा, पंजाब के मुख्यमंत्री को जेल में डाला जाएगा, उनसे इस्तीफा मांगा जाएगा, स्टालिन को जेल में डालेंगे, विजयन को डालेंगे, सिद्धार for Aam Aadmi Party. How long can Kejriwal stay defiant and run the government from jail? With Ashutosh and Piyush Mishra in Delhi, Bureau Report, India Today. Saurabh Bhardwaj, uh, Delhi Senior Minister, joins me as my first guest tonight. Saurabh Bhardwaj, that question that is being asked, can Arvind Kejriwal run the government from jail maybe legally he can but on moral ground should he be stepping aside until his name is cleared by the courts yes or no <laughs> no i think this question of morality is not being raised by people in delhi it is not being raised by aam aadmi party legislature it is being raised by bjp and by what standards of morality is bjp asking the resignation of our chief minister, when they are the party who demanded resignation from Hemant Biswa Sharma, when he was a minister in Congress government, they ran a campaign against him. 
that he is accused of Sharda scam, water scam, ran a campaign for six months and then they took him in BJP and now he is BJP's chief minister. No, no, but Mr. Bhadwad, this is very different. Let, let, let's not go into water water with some minister. new regard. This is very different. No, Here is the a, chief minister. Exactly Yesterday the it Delhi High same. Court order is it extremely is. stinging. It <laughs> says that they uh, there is enough prima facie evidence to suggest that Mr. Kejriwal is involved in the scam is what the judge in her observation said. Do you believe he can continue on moral ground, sir? Rajdeep ji, you are a very senior journalist and I believe you will know that High Court at this stage cannot adjudicate whether Mr. Kejriwal is guilty or not. They cannot. Unless a trial is conducted and concluded, nobody in this whole world, neither High Court nor the Supreme Court, can hold whether Mr. Kejriwal is guilty or not, number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, on 7th February 2024, it was the same bench of High Court, Honorable Justice Swankanta Sharma, who gave similar remarks when she dismissed the bail application of Sanjay Singh Ji. And on the same arguments which were placed before High Court, when the same arguments were placed before the three judge bench of the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court accepted those arguments. They pulled ED and they gave bail to Sanjay Singh. They even said this to ED that if you want to argue this case, if you want to argue this bail matter, we will give an order based on facts and if we write an order, your case will not even stand the trial. So I think it is, it is very clear mm -hmm. that the judgments of high courts are often overturned by Supreme Court, so this is so can I so can I so can I be more precise? One court. No, no. And so Mr. Bhardwaj, to, Mr. Bhardwaj, you are going to these observations sir, from this court, sir. You are going in appeal to the Supreme Court, challenging the arrest. Am I therefore to understand that until the Supreme Court pronounces, there is no been, question. We are already there. There is no question of Arvind Kejriwal quitting. But should the Supreme Court also uh, go against the Amadmi Party leader? Will he then quit? Are you? Is the Supreme Court your last resort? Or will you, no. even Rajiv if the Supreme Ji. Court rules against the Amadmi Party, will you still will he still remain in office? I just want you to tell me one line in the order of the High Court where the High Court says that yes, now Arvind Kejriwal is guilty and he cannot be the Chief Minister. They cannot write it because the trial is yet not started. Forget about conclusion of trial. Even the Supreme Court, even if they don't grant relief to Arvind Kejriwal, mm -hmm. Supreme Court cannot write that Arvind Kejriwal is guilty because unless the trial happens, unless the evidence is weighed by the court, no one can say Arvind Kejriwal is guilty. It is just an allegation. An allegation by whom? ED. ED which has been pressurizing all the witnesses. Witnesses have been giving statements after statements where they have nothing against Mr. Kejriwal. And then you put their sons in the mm. jail for six months. When they are in jail for six months, you pressurize them to change their statements. So after 10 statements, they give 11 statement. After six statements, they give seven statement. Mr. Which is completely a U-turn. Mr. Bhardwaj. You cannot allow such mockery of law. Mr. Bhargwad, this is not allowed. So you are saying it's a mockery of law. I am just saying that this is what the court order said yesterday. The material collected by ED reveals Mr. Arvind Kejriwal conspired and was actively involved in use and concealment of proceeds of crime. The ED case also reveals that he was involved in his personal yes, capacity yes. as well as convener of ARP. So now, this is ED's case. Are you case. telling me that That's he, that, 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 that is not from the uh, high court, uh, right, that high court order is not an in indictment of, of the leadership? No. Mm. Look, if you carefully read the order of high court, high court is saying that ED says this. High court never said that, no, this is proved. It is an allegation of ED. You can put any bizarre allegation on Mamta Banerjee tomorrow. You can put this allegation on Stalin. You can put them to jail. Then you'll ask that you should also re you should also resign on moral grounds. There will be no government of you know, opposition parties in the country. You know, this is what BJP wants. This is a trap. 
No, you are saying. Why should I fall in that trap when I know it is a trap? No, no, you are. If it, they have such mm -hmm. high standards of morality, Rajdeep ji, let let me just complete. Mm -hmm. If BJP has such high standards of morality, then the person called Ajit Pawar, who is called a scamster by BJP, how is he a deputy chief minister in their own government? Sir, the just because he has come to BJP. Sir, and the ED has stopped investigating this Mr. Bhardwaj, your party came through an anti-corruption movement. <laughs> your party came through an anti-corruption movement. Your party at that time was calling for resignations of several union ministers. Now suddenly, you are telling me we are going to wait till we hear from the Supreme Court. Until then, there is no question of Mr. Kejriwal resigning. The same Mr. Kejriwal on repeated occasions. Let me when he was when he was an India against corruption leader said even if there is the slightest taint, a leader must yes. resign. Yes. So let me clarify it for your viewers. I know that you know this, but I am clarifying it for the you for your viewers. In 2011, 2012, 2013, it was a Congress's government in the center. The CBI was controlled by Congress. In spite of the fact that the Congress controlled CBI, the CBI could register cases against the union ministers belonging to Congress party or the UPA. So there was no iota of doubt that this is a political conspiracy against one party by another party. But here it's open. You can see dozens of leaders who are called corrupt, who have criminal uh, inquiries going against them, where ED is inquiring, CBI is inquiring. BJP is calling them corrupt. They join BJP, then there is no inquiry. They become chief ministers, they become deputy chief ministers. And they are asking us to fall in their trap You're because they will give us a certificate that no, 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 no. Now this is morally correct. Arvind Kejriwal ji is morally correct. We got a certificate from RSS. We are you, not dying for that certificate. We don't Mr. Bhardwaj, we Mr. Don't Bhardwaj one of your... Why should we fall in their okay, trap? Okay, you're, you're saying it's a trap. One of your ministers has resigned today, Mr. Anand. He is saying that uh, the AAP stand on corruption yes. is flawed. He's gone yes. ahead and resigned. How do you see it? Do you believe that what is happening is effectively now, if you all continue holding on to this stand, that there is no question of Mr. Kejriwal resigning, you're going to brazen it out, that more and more of your ministers, or dare I say MLAs, could also with, uh, leave the party? Radeep ji, Right from the day Arvind Kejriwalji got his first summon, he was telling the same thing. It is not about any inquiry of so-called liquor scam. It is all about arresting Arvind Kejriwal, putting him in the jail, handicapping Mr. Arvind Kejriwal and then breaking his MLA's ministers, breaking his party. Mm -hmm and bringing down the two governments of Aam Admi Party in Delhi and Punjab. This was the conspiracy. Arvind Kejriwal knew it. He has been telling it for months. Now it is proven, as soon as Arvind Kejriwal ji is in jail, you break our MLA from Jalandhar, you break our member of parliament from Jalandhar. There are ED raids on our MLAs. There are IT raids on our, on our MLAs. They are being summoned every day by ED, income tax. There is a pressure on them. The minister who has resigned recently, just one hour before he resigned, he tweeted a video of Sanjay Singh ji. He tweeted by himself. And then he says, oh, no, 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 this party is corrupt. I want to resign. So, uh, so no, why has he things. resigned? No, no, I, no, no, you're I'm making... Very happy why has Mr. Anand resigned? Are you telling me Mr. Anand has resigned because the enforcement directorate has issued him summons? Is that what you're saying? Yes. In November... In November 2023, he was raided by ED. The ED was at his place for 23 hours. He was grilled. And since November 2023, he was regularly being summoned by ED. And But by what I know, even on 12th April, day after tomorrow, he was again summoned. He was supposed to be at ED's office. So there was constant pressure on him. And he is a man, you know, he has family, he has kids. Probably he, he just surrendered out of fear. It, not everybody is Sanjay Singh. Not everybody is Manish Shichodhya. No, you're and saying, we have sympathies you're saying, with him. I don't hate him. So I have sympathies for him. Because he's like my brother. I can, I can understand. He just gave in to the pressure. No, you're saying he's given in to the pressure, Mr. Bhardwaj. I come back to the original question though. 
which is basically therefore are you telling me that this government of yours will now run now with your leader in jail because you've already got the lieutenant governor who is questioning the way the government is running is that now another fear that you have that the lg will now say enough is enough uh, i'm dismissing the government you cannot have a Radhi government where the chief minister today is running the government from jail I think Radhi ji, I'll I'll just share one observation, and I think lot of political observers like you and many people who are observing Delhi, from within Delhi and outside Delhi must be thinking. They must be apprehending in their mind that probably Arvind Kejriwal is now unpopular. Probably BJP's narrative that Arvind Kejriwal and Aam Aadmi Party is corrupt is is gaining ground in Delhi. and now arvind kejriwal is so unpopular that he cannot win elections had that been the case bjp was not required to break our minister arm to star minister this means that in spite of all the propaganda being run by bjp every day arvind kejriwal is popular in delhi and they are still fearful of the fact that unless and until they start breaking our mlas and ministers they cannot finish aam aadmi party they are still scared of arvind kejriwal that's why they are leaning to you know such desperate measures which is completely exposing bjp now who is so being BJP desperate is no, no, in my concluding question Everybody who is being this is an operation of no, no, mr bardwaj who is being desperate here the bjp or the aam aadmi party which is determined to try and hold on to power at all costs you are telling me that arvind kejriwal's popularity has increased uh after he's been jailed that I that think... we will know that we will know in the months ahead but i just ask you again who is getting desperate at the moment is it the bjp which is you say is breaking your uh, trying I to break your party Arvind or aam aadmi party trying the... to hold on to power at all costs yes i think arvind kejriwal is the only chief minister in india who in 2014 resigned when we when he had the numbers and everybody said भगोड़ा है भगोड़ा है भगोड़ा है सो यू 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 कैंट कॉल अरविंद केजरीवाल इज डेस्परेट फॉर पावर ही डजेंट केयर अबाउट पावर बट ही केयर्स फॉर द पार्टी एंड ही केयर्स फॉर दिस कंट्री ही नोज दैट इफ ही रिजाइंस दे विल ब्रेक दिस पार्टी दे विल ओवरटर्न दीज गवर्नमेंट्स दे विल थ्रो अवे द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ही इज ऑन दिस पोजिशन नॉट नॉट टू एंजॉय लग्जरी इज नॉट एंजॉइंग लग्जरी इन तिहार जेल ही इज in the seat of chief minister because he knows that will keep the party together that okay. will keep the government running and because he doesn't want to fall into the trap of bjp but yes bjp is desperate and by what they are doing it is getting exposed every day okay my final question my final final question are you confident that your government will last or will the government now fall <laughs> today mr anand has resigned could many more MLA is resigned both in Delhi possibly in Punjab are you confident your government will hold on I think our government will hold on because of Manish Sisodia's Arvind Kejriwal Sanjay Singh and Satyendra Jains we don't care about Raj Kumar Anand they come and go our party will hold our government will stand and we will be here okay. we are here let me leave it there saurabh bardwaj you are sounding defiant and insisting that your government is going nowhere at the moment mr kejriwal will continue to run <laughs> this government from jail may i just ask you though there is a lot of also uh, uh, question mark over the role of sunita kejriwal i am told you all had a meeting today at uh, mr kejriwal's residence <laughs> when she was also there she is bringing messages from arvind kejriwal from jail to you is she de facto chief minister as some are suggesting yes or no No, I think we have our chief minister in Tihar Jail. His name is Arvind Kejriwal. When we have a full-fledged chief minister, why do we need a de facto chief minister? Okay. We have chief minister Arvind Kejriwal. She is the one who is acting as a link between the party and the chief minister, okay. and the party's convener. She is the only one who meets him regularly. So whatever doubts, queries we have, she puts it before Mr. Kejriwal. Whatever orders, directions. she gets from arvind kejriwal ji they are transferred to us she is just acting like a messenger okay i'm going to and leave it she is a reliable messenger okay and let me leave it there saurabh bardwaj for taking off the time i know you've been uh, very busy in the last few days i appreciate 
your time and joining me here I'm on very the busy. news today. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, let's move on from there because we've got lots of big questions that still remain unanswered and that interview perhaps has set the stage for them. Should Arvind Kejriwal, as I keep asking the question, quit on moral grounds? Is the BJP, as Saurabh Bhardwaj there suggests, in a bid to finish off Aam Aadmi Party? Can a Delhi government be run from jail? Ashutosh, uh, columnist, author and uh, former Aam Aadmi Party leader is with us. R.P. Singh is the BJP Strident spokesperson. Jasmine Shah is Aam Aadmi Party spokesperson. Appreciate you all joining us here on the show tonight. Let me come to you, Ashutosh, first because uh, perhaps you can try and be as neutral as possible on this one. The other two will have stated positions. Do you believe that Arvind K. Jiwal is better off stepping down at a moment like this? Or as Saurabh Bhardwaj says, he claimed this is a trap that the BJP has laid to get the chief minister to quit and then finish off Aam Aadmi Party. Uh, Rajdeep Arvind K. Jiwal is wrong on two counts, uh, constitutionally as well as politically. And this I've been saying not today, but I've been saying for a long time since he's arrested. Constitutionally, because yes, there is nothing, nothing written in the constitution that the chief minister is jailed, he can't uh, be the chief minister, he can't run the administration. But the fact of the matter is there is something called constitutionality, there is a constitutional morality. And the constitutional morality says that Arvind Kejriwal cannot function as the chief minister if he is jailed because he is incapacitated. A somebody, a chief minister, is there to discharge his duties. If the, if, if the chief minister is not in a position to discharge his duties, then he should ideally resign. And it's a question of constitutional morality and value. Before going to the jail, he should have resigned. And why I'm saying so politically also, because I'm dreading it that today, the way Rajkumar Anand has resigned, I can, I can see the beginning of the end of the Aam Aadmi Party government in Delhi. It, this is not going to be the first resignation. There will be many more resi resignation. And if, and if that there is an ED, and if there is a very powerful government at the center, uh, my apprehension is this is going to be very, very difficult. You're saying, the Aam Aadmi 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 you're saying the Aam Aadmi Party government in Delhi will now collapse? Uh, if it, it, it will lead to that point. Whether it is, it is done by, by defections, uh, which I am, I am, because nobody has predicted that the Shiv Sena can, can, be, can, can split into, into mm -hmm. such, a, such a situation in the NCP, NCP split. So when Sivsena and the NCP can split, why not Aam, Aam Aadhi Party? The second point is, that is more, the more important point is that if Arvind Kejriwal continues as the chief minister, then the central government has no other option than to impose, uh, three, you use 249AB, impose president rule in Delhi. And the further it can do that, they can go, go back to restoring a, a pre-1993 position in Delhi. And if that happens, then that will end up the end of the uh, Delhi government in Delhi. Okay. That will end up the assembly in Delhi. And that will be like pre-1993 position where the MCD was there. That's why I'm saying if I, he has been wise enough, he had been advised politically, he should have resigned, given the reins to somebody else, could have become the chief minister. And once he was out of the jail, he could have further become the chief minister like Jalalita did and, and many other, others have done it. Okay. Let me just bring in uh, uh, R.P. Singh. R.P. Singh, you heard uh, Saurabh Bhardwaj saying this is all a ploy, to, a trap to destroy the Aam Aadmi Party. Ashutosh also hinting at defections likely to be engineered, maybe even the Lieutenant Governor taking over Delhi, dismissing the government. Is this the ploy of the BJP, the trap of the BJP to finish off Aam Aadmi Party ahead of the elections? Well, I don't see anything of uh, that sort happening. I mean, everything will happen as per law and then as per constitution. And uh, uh, Mr. Kejriwal has right to go to hi higher court. He has high right to go to Supreme Court. And that is within his preview. His uh, lawyers has already approached the court. And court has said that we won't do the urgent hearing. And we'll wait for you send us a mail. We'll see next hearing after Monday when the courts open. Mm -hmm. But let me just read out one para from the High Court order, which came yesterday. It says, material created by ED reveals that Kejriwal conspired and was involved in formulation. This is the exact word. I'm not using my words. For information of excise policy and use proceeds of crime. He is also allegedly involved in personal capacity in formulation of policy, demanding kickbacks, and, uh, and secondly, in capacity of national criminal arm. Now, uh, even after this, uh, they want to continue, they can. I mean, he, he, he can uh, still think that he should continue. 
I'm leaving, leaving aside the morality part. I mean, uh, there's no morality left uh, in Aam Aadmi Party, and there was never a morality. Do you remember 2013? He took a, he swore by his children that, that I will not join any party or not take support of any party. And 2013, he took support of Congress uh, party and then said, uh, and before that, he used to say, I have some 370 pages of corruption against Sheila Dixit. And who's talking about morality? Vijay Singhla, they sacked the minister to, and was doing just something in Punjab, uh, the health minister in Punjab, and said that we have sacked the minister because there's something uh, uh, related to corruption and we'll uh, uh, do the needful against him. And then today uh, he's in jail, but still he wants to continue the chief minister. I mean, there, there are no two parallels within his parties also. So that's how the Aam Admi party is. We don't expect much, but... Uh, Ashutosh, administratively, he can't. He can't continue as a chief minister because if the cabinet meeting has happened, where the cabinet meeting will happen? Uh, or the secretariat of the, um, uh, the chief minister has to function? How will the secretariat of the chief minister function? Right now, because there's election, there's no, no work. He is simply uh, sending sweet messages to his wife uh, that, oh, all MLA should work, all MLA should take care of uh, uh, citizen of Delhi. Mm -hmm. Please go through what do the... Uh, Chief Justice of Delhi has, uh, the, uh, the uh, acting Chief Justice of Delhi has to say what Delhi schools, the condition of Delhi schools. Manmohan, uh, Sadar Manmohan Singh uh, probably uh, is the Chief Justice, or Manmohan Singh is the Chief Justice, who has categorically st uh, stated that these Delhi schools are in tattered, they're in bad shape, there are no benches, I mean, and, and the, chief, uh, the Education Secretary was So there. you're saying, you're, so sir, I take your point. Messages you're saying his, uh, administratively MLS. it is not... It is no longer feasible, in your view, for a chief minister to run his government from jail. Jasmine Shah, you heard those strong words coming in from the BJP. There are even well-wishers, if I may call Mr. Ashutosh that, who are saying maybe it was better off, uh, that Arvind Kejriwal was better off stepping down rather than brazening it out in this manner and claiming that the BJP is out to finish him. Why not step down and if the court clears him, as the, if the Supreme Court clears him, come back again. Ashutosh gave the example of Jai Lalita. Rajdeep, uh, there have been many well-wishers like Ashutosh, who from the beginning of AAP's founding have written the obituary of AAP. That, you know, now this is the final point. This is how AAP is going to collapse. Just watch a few days. What has happened in the last 10 years, Aam Aadmi Party has emerged as a national party, very strong grassroots rooted party. Now, the trouble with this entire argument that, you know, this is constitutional morality is as follows. There is no parallel in India. And I think if I'm certain that, you know, there is no parallel in any mature democracy in the world where the, a leading figure in opposition is put behind bars, a serving chief minister is put behind bars without any charge sheet, without any trial, forget even conviction. So if there is any breakdown of constitutional morality today, it is of the Modi government and the BJP. They are bullying the entire democratic setup in India. And you do not cow down to a bully, Rajdi. That is precisely, uh, uh, you know, courageous leaders don't do that. You look in the eyes of the bully and say, you do what you have to. I am right. The law, the legal system will prove me right. Yes, if there was a conviction, he should absolutely step down. He will not stay there even for a second. But at a stage where even the charge sheet has not been finalized, all you have is an immediate arrest order because PMLA, we know what kind of a law it is. And if that is the yardstick, then tomorrow what prevents all the opposition chief ministers to be put behind bars without charge sheet, without trial? You can just finish democracy in India. And the other point, Rajdeep, is that what about constitutional morality, morality in Manipur? Manipur's been burning for a year. Women are being paraded naked. Mr. R.P. Singh will not demand the chief minister uh, there to resign. What is the morality of Bridbush and Singh? Women wrestlers, champion wrestlers are protesting against no, him. They've been sexually this. harassed. No resignations are asked. What about Ashok uh, Taini? You know, his son is found to be uh, going and, you know, he's, uh, you know, driven cars over farmers. His resignation is not being asked. So this very selective kind of, you see, it's very clear. This is conspiracy written all over it. No, no, you're From saying... the very beginning, no, so he you're... has been saying that so... find the, uh, like... To no, go no, through that but, trial, admin, no, no, but are you really seriously telling me that a government, according to you, can be run by a chief minister in jail? I, with full responsibility, Rajdeep, I'm telling you on your show that there are precedences for any and every action of a government also to be taken. There is no problem. There are confidential documents under sealed covers that can be sent, can be viewed only by the chief minister. 
can be sent back enough number of letters can be communicated a system will have to no, be but set what up is the time. fear what is the fear jasmine shah if you do what was done in some other states when a chief minister was jailed like jailalita in tamil nadu remember oh pani is... selvam was made chief minister there have been precedences when a leader is sent to jail someone else takes over for an interim period if the person is cleared as you are saying he can come back if he is convicted he stays on in jail Rajiv, why this reluctance most of these cases in most of these cases it happens at a stage where there is conviction or where you are almost very close to conviction here i am saying appreciate what is happening today with mr kejriwal the charge sheet has not been finalized no investigation really has happened he was raided uh, you know his house uh, was raided two hours of investigation and you suddenly arrest the chief minister what happened with sanjay singh he was not even summoned the ed showed up at his doorstep and picked him up and says ki jail mein chalo 6 months he was in jail and what did supreme court finally say they they gave him bail but at the same time they may, they had very harsh words for ed okay they asked two questions which the ed couldn't answer where is the money trail and how can you have such low standards of government witnesses approvers who have repeatedly said something else who have been put behind jail and finally a statement is extracted which you know wonderfully names an aam aadmi party leader so ashutosh how the entire ashutosh, case has been concocted okay ashutosh respond to what you are hearing from uh, uh, jasmin shah he says look until a charge sheet uh, forget about conviction until a charge sheet is formally filed why should a chief minister resign it will set a dangerous precedent because then the government will go in for all of the opposition party leaders across the country uh, as if it's a funny argument because that that shows that there is a little how much respect there there is for the for the constitution and how much respect is there for the constitutional morality and the and, and the tradition you know uh, rajdeep the very funny situation is happening in tihar jail because tihar jail comes under the delhi government now the chief minister is lost there and the dgp and the tihar jail officer are supposed to report to the uh, to, to, to the delhi government mm -hmm. now how how will you resolve this this is this and the problem is the problem is that whatever you say you can you can you can you can get all kinds of arguments in the world to to stand on your feet and say we are uh, we are much better than any other chief minister we are on a high moral crowd and uh, the ad and everybody is victimizing us they can arrest anybody i can i can i can i can i can accept all these arguments mm -hmm. that ed is victimizing i can i can accept all those arguments but the point today is mm -hmm. that aam aadmi party has set standards for themselves nobody has set a standard for themselves if they, if and it is they who have been who have been taking a very high moral ground look at the situation today the party which has been asking the uh, resignation of the india's president of india one of the finest uh, uh, politician the country has produced one of the greatest uh, the, 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 uh, the the politician the india has produced uh, pranam mukherjee they had put their posters on the on the ramlila maidan and at, at the jantar mantar and asked him to resign without any case without any investigation now the same party is coming back and saying i don't believe into the constitutional morality i don't i don't buy the, these arguments since we are we feel victimized and that is why we should okay. continue with the chief minister what kind of funny argument is this okay you made your point rp singh the fact though is many believe that the bjp is out to finish off the aam aadmi party look at the way the ed case also is not just looking at prosecuting arvind kejriwal but they are saying we'll prosecute the party vicarious liability of the party itself somewhere there is a sense the bjp wants to use this case to try and finish the aap once and for all so when the aap says there's a conspiracy there is that angle too which will need to be explored at some stage is this all part of a wider game plan ki khatam kar do aam aadmi party ko Well, Rajiv, we are misquoting ED. It was the court which said that ED should also ensure that they should uh, file a charge sheet against the Aam Aadmi Party. No, no. The, so ED the ED made the argument in court. The court, the ED, the ED made the original that. argument, sir. The ED made the original argument. I am not misquoting anyone, sir. And and did ED say that we want to file a case against the Aam Aadmi Party? No. It was the court which said, please file the case against Aam Aadmi Party. So let's understand. There's a difference. There's a thin line. And then you are using it as per your uh, uh, requirement or as per your uh, judgment. Mm -hmm. But let's understand. Uh, uh, Mr. Shah was talking about something about uh, uh, approvers. Court court said court was doubting grant to partner uh, partner approvers amount to casting aspersions on the judicial process. I mean, this is the court which is saying not us. And approvers are uh, 
given uh, uh, are made approvals by the court order, not by the uh, prosecuting agency. One. Secondly, I mean, you, he was talking about money trail, and he was talking about just two people. There's not two people. There are more than two people. As per my knowledge, there are more than 38 people who have given their uh, witnesses under Section 164, and then it has been categorically stated. They have categorically stated yes, money transferred hand, and how money transferred hand, and they are given complete details on this, and which court has also said, again, I read the court order. This court also holds that the ED has, was able to place enough material statement approvers, and they on candidate stating that he, ca that he was given money for Goa elections. And let me just read sir, out that one more the para ED, out sir, of the sir, ED one minute. note, which sir, categorically states... Sir, that is the ED, that sir, is the ED's claim, sir. The ED's sir, claim, court, court, my oh, limited court could, point, have turned, court could have thrown this... Court could have thrown this on their face. Yeah, okay. If, that was, if the court was not convinced, court could have thrown, thrown this on their face. Man, if you, you are not convinced with me, but you are not accepting my logic, so okay. you are giving a counter logic. No, so you the court could have also said, take you, away this, this is all rubbish. Okay, you made a fine point. Court never said it's rubbish. Court you're, accepted you're, you it. Give make me a second now. Sir, you give make a, a point that the give court... Give me a second, please. Sir, give me a sir, second. just a minute. Yes, go Rajay, ahead. Give me another second, please. Yes, please. Sir, there, there, there are people. Let me. There are set of people who were involved who were under Section 164 has uh, put on record, say, and, and naming the people: Ashok Patel, Kiran Bai Patel, Jagdish Sharma. They revealed the amount: four crore, uh, twelve crore rupees, some seven point one crore rupees, sixteen crore rupees. And they also told whom they have delivered the money to, and those people accepted. Yes, money came to us. Now. Going little aside from this, what sir, I said there about is the still Goa. no charge sheet. Do you remember gentleman Rajinder Singh Solanki? In, uh, give me a second, sir. No, 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 sir, sir, the, sir, 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 we have limited. Rajinder Singh Solanki in, in uh, Gujarat. Sir, we still have the facts. Sir, the charge I'll sheet. prove my case. I'll just prove it to you that money was sent by... No, no I'll, I'll prove it to you. There's a... There's a there's a, leave side the charge sheet. Rajinder Singh Solanki, a, a, a contestant from Gujarat, Bardulai, was caught red-handed with money, with 20 lakh rupees cash. He said, this is not my money, this is a man who is a driver with me. He is the, go he is the angry between the central party and us. And this is already a case going on. So similar thing happened. I mean, that time, uh, the, it was just a one person. Now, the, the scope has expanded. And then, yes, it's on record. Okay. And Mr. R.P. Singh, Mr. The, R. P. Singh uh, I've heard you, sir. Please check, check, sir, check I've heard you out. I've heard you. I will give Jasmine Shah a final word. Jasmine Shah, I come back to the point that Ashutosh made. That when you have pointed fingers at others, four fingers will point at you today. When you came up through the India Against Corruption, you pointed fingers at the world saying that they must be above all suspicion. Therefore, the question arises, maybe Mr. Kejriwal now needs to walk the talk. Rajdeep, let's understand a very critical difference between how the state of affairs was in our democracy in 2014 and how it is today. There is no doubting that today there is an atmosphere of dictatorship. There is an atmosphere of an authoritarianism that is prevailing each and every investigative agency. Today, ED and CBI have become organs of the BJP. Earlier also, they were under the pressure of the central government. But this kind of open-ended, I mean, what explains that the kingpin of the entire scam, Sharat Reddy, the money trail of 60 crores is found in BJP's bank account and ED has not even gone and knocked on the doors of these people and not even started the I investigation. So it shows that there is today, there is, things are very different. And today if a conspiracy is hatched to finish off up, forget even about BJP or ED has not even bothered about starting the trial. For the last two years they've been invested. If it is such an open and shut case, A, why have you not found a single rupee? And second, if you found all the evidence, start the trial. You should have started it yesterday. You will not start the trial. You will put all the leaders in jail and then you ask all of them to resign. That's a very nice, okay. convenient uh, kind of a process. No, no, and you're no, doing no. this only because you do not want Mr. Kejriwal or AAP in action in Lok Sabha election. That's the sum and total of it. Okay. And again, I'm saying there is no parallel to, no, to this, no, Rajdeep, no, no, anywhere in the world. Okay, I'm going to leave, it. I'm going like to leave Russia, it there. Which has put the opposition in the prison and, you know, some of them even died. Jasmine Shah, no RP Singh, any other Jasmine Shah, RP Singh, Ashutosh, I appreciate you joining us. We do have time constraints, but I think each of you have had enough time to make your point, which is what we try and do here on the news today, and then leave it to the viewers to judge. Should the chief minister resign, or should he battle it out in the belief that this is a conspiracy against him, or should he follow constitutional morality? It's an interview we did that has sparked off a political showdown in Tamil Nadu. 
I had spoken to the DMK Central Chennai candidate and former Union Minister Dayanidhi Maran on the campaign trail and asked him about the Anna Malai factor in Tamil Nadu. Maran responded by saying, who, who are you referring to? Prime Minister Modi now has stepped in and slammed the DMK claiming that they have insulted Anna Malai. Anna Malai too has joined the controversy. It all started with that interview. Listen in. There is one fear, some say of Anna Malai, the rising star of the BJP. Billy, is he the rising star? Who's that? Anna Malai, Who's BJP that? president, oh, Coimbatore. The Joker. You're talking about the Joker. Are you, are you, are you, are you, are you underestimating? Are you underestimating? Under, are you under overestimating? Is a lame duck. There is one fear, some say of Anna Malai, the rising star of the BJP. <laughs> Billy, is he the rising star? Who's that? Anna Malai, Who's BJP that? president, oh, Coimbatore. The Joker. You're talking about the Joker. Are you underestimating? Are you underestimating? Under are you overestimating? He's a lame duck. MK, Satta ke ahankar mein dubi hui party hai. जब डीएमके के एक बड़े नेता ने हमारे युवा नेता अन्ना मलाई जी के बारे में पूछा गया तो डीएमके नेता ने अहंकार में कहा कौन है वो अन्ना मलाई हु इज दैट हु इज दैट और अपमानजनक शब्दों का इस्तेमाल किया यह अहंकार तमिलनाडु के महान कल्चर के खिलाफ है यह अहंकार तमिलनाडु के लोगों की कभी पसंद नहीं आएगा एक पूर्व पुलिस अफसर के लिए बैकवर्ड क्लास से आने वाले युवा के लिए ग्राउंड पर इतना काम करने वाले युवा के लिए जो शब्द डीएमके ने कहे हैं वही उसका असली कैरेक्टर है ये फैमिली पॉलिटिक्स करने वाले लोग हर युवा को इसलिए आगे बढ़ने से रोकते हैं DMK stands for abuse at its worst. And this is coming from a person, Dayanadi Maran. If you remove his word Maran from there, he will not even get a job as anybody in any place. He is totally, totally useless without his family surname. But unfortunately, when they know they are losing, DMK will always take recourse to abuse and filth. I only support Tamil. He keeps on changing his stand. First he was against NEET. Then he said NEET uh, will now, he supports NEET. Then what he said for the, the farm bills. He said not even a comma will be taken off from comma, the farm bill. Then the entire farm bill was uh, taken away. He says that he doesn't know Hindi. Then he now he speaks uh, fluent Hindi. He keeps on changing his colors like a chameleon. And he behaves like a joker. He just believes in something and because he has to be in media. So I stand by my stand words. He is a joker. We need people like him. He's a good entertainer. Please, Mr. Anamale, continue. Big story of the day. The Supreme Court has hauled up Patanjali, the company which uh, is associated with yoga guru Baba Ramdev. The Supreme Court once again today strongly rebuked Patanjali, refused to accept its apology for issuing misleading ads despite the apex court's order. The SC said the company was not taking the contempt of court proceedings seriously. Our correspondent gives you this report. Supreme Court has today refused to accept the unconditional apology from Baba Ramdev and Managing Director of Patanjali Ayurved, Acharya Balakrishnan, for advertising medical products in violation of giving an undertaking in the Apex Court that they will not publish the advertisement related to medicines they manufacture and said it will consider it a willful, deliberate disobedience of the undertaking. The top court came down heavily on state licensing authority of Uttarakhand government for not taking 
taking the action against Patanjali for publishing misleading advertisements and said it is acting like a post office. The top court also pulled up the present in charge and previous officers of the licensing authority for just sitting on files and asking them to file a detailed reply on why action is not taken against Patanjali. The court also told Joint Directorate of State Licensing Authority that the bench is not going to take this lightly and said we will rip you apart. The court said the assurances of the state license authority and the apology of the proposed contemners are not worth the paper they are written on. The court went on to state that it is a conduct like this that makes a mockery of the Supreme Court with the public saying that judges are sitting in ivory tower. With camera person Ankit from New Delhi, Kanu Sarda for India Today. Baba Ramdev's troubles there. Let me end tonight with a Get Real India story. It's a story that reflects what in many ways is wrong with our country. An RTI application has revealed that many Maharashtra ministers have pending water bills that are running into lakhs. This at a time when many citizens in the state are facing water scarcity as summer comes upon us. I leave you tonight with this Get Real India story in the hope that we will see a better India, a more accountable India in the future. Thanks for watching. Stay well, stay safe. Good night. Shubhratri. Jai Hind. Namaskar. Vast areas of Maharashtra are facing water crisis. Citizens are dependent on tankers for daily needs. There is one section immune to it all. They get water aplenty and owe lakhs to the BMC in bills. Response to an RTI application has revealed many state ministers have pending bills running into lakhs. Some since 2022. CM Eknath Chinde's water bills for official residences in Mumbai and Nagpur, Varsha and Nandanwan add to more than 18,48,000 rupees. Deputy CM Fadnavis has outstanding bills worth more than 2,73,000 rupees. Deputy CM Ajit Pawar's outstanding bill for Devagiri residents is 4,38,859 rupees. Minister for Forest and Cultural Affairs Sudhir Mungantiwar has bills pending since April 2021, totaling over 6,50,000 rupees. School Education Minister Deepak Kesarkar has unpaid bills worth over 11,30,000 rupees. And Uday Samant nearly 7 lakh rupees. The sum of the outstanding bills is more than 95 lakh rupees. आप देखेंगे मुंबई जैसे शहरों में पानी की बहुत किल्लत है लेकिन ये जो सरकारी आवास है मुख्यमंत्री हो गए या उप मुख्यमंत्री हो गए लास्ट दो तीन सालों से देखेंगे तो आप जो उनका लाखों रुपए का बिल बकाया हुआ है लेकिन उन्होंने आज तक भरा नहीं है अब इसमें हो क्या रहा है कि जो बकाया बाकी है पैसे बाकी है उसके ऊपर महानगर पालिका इंटरेस्ट ले रही है जो की हम आम जनता के जेब से जो है इंटरेस्ट भरना पड़ेगा वेल द मनी इज टू बी पेड बाई द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट टू बी एम सी the pending bills reveal the callousness shown in the consumption of the precious resource when most parts of the state struggle for water supply. With Dipesh Tripathi in Mumbai, Bureau Report, India Today.